morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Walk. Today is Wednesday, October 26th, and today we are kind of combining what we've been talking about since Sunday. Sunday, we were talking about the Watchmen. Yesterday, we talked about um, um, not giving up, continuing to hang in there, continuing to do the things that God has called you to do. So that brings us to today. Today, we're in Habakkuk 2, and... Um, this is a part of the Bible where it talks about the importance of staying diligent, um, keep on running the race, you don't give up, you don't back off, you keep that watchman role in place, and you just keep moving forward. So in Habakkuk 2, it says, I will stand at my watch and station myself on the ramparts. Now, right away, when I read that, I'm thinking, okay, who put me at that station who put me on that watch <clears throat> and the answer is it was God's calling and we need to be aware of the fact that when we were we are called there is nothing Satan would rather do than get you to stop fulfilling that call so we need to be make sure we are standing at our watch that we're stationing stationing ourselves on those ramparts those were like um, places where they they stood and they stood guard <clears throat> we need to keep that guard up and keep running that race into that deeper relationship with Christ. I will look to see what he will say to me and what I ans what answer I am to give to this complaint. So we're always looking for or listening for those answers from the Holy Spirit, that direction from the Holy Spirit, and we're, we're ready to go into that prayer closet and battle at all times. And then the Lord's answer comes, verse 2. Then the Lord replied, Write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run through it. <clears throat> now there are times where <clears throat> it feels like God is doing things in code. And he actually, he kind of is. But he's doing it for a purpose. God wants us to understand God wants us to understand in exactly the right moment of the timing where we're able to understand it. He knows the very number of hairs on my head. I don't know that. He knows exactly what I can understand right here, right now, and in that moment. So sometimes when God is revealing a plan for you or a calling, you're getting little pieces. And it's, I kind of picture it as like a puzzle in front of me. Oh, there's another piece I connect. There's another piece. Now there's another piece. Now somebody gave me some confirmation. I've got another piece, but I can't see the whole picture until it's all finished. So he gives us those revelations. Those revelations are plain in that moment, but it also leaves us with more questions. And when it's his perfect timing, he's going to reveal all of it. For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. So we have to be aware that those revelations are coming at exactly the appointed time that God wants them to be revealed and that they're happening as we're able to understand it. It speaks about those end times. It speaks about what's coming next. And then the next sentence, though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. Now, it's very possible that the Holy Spirit has told you some things that you don't get. And you're just going, I'm still trying to figure this out. And you may be feeling frustrated. But know that all those things happen in God's timing. As you go into your prayer closet today, pray about his timing. Pray about those revelations. Pray about when he's going to show you and when you're ready to receive those words. Have a wonderful day. God bless and keep walking the walk.